and look at how we can send a file securely using Google Drive. So let's open up our Google Drive. And we're going to grab our Google Drive. So I've just put a text file in here. I've called it my very large text file. Uh, but I need to send this to someone who their email client or their email domain admin has set a very strict file limit on it. And so I can't send it to it as a file. I can't, and I don't want to send it via a Excel source, i.e. we transfer or anything like that. I can't zip it, I can't compress it, I can't make it any smaller. I have to send it as is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open my file. I'm going to click on the three dots here. I'm going to go to share with this little person and a plus icon. It's really quite cool. It's then going to give me options. It's going to ask me who. So I'm going to say I'm going to send it to myself at work. But this could be any email address you want to send it to. I'm going to create a shareable link. Now, under this little pen icon, I have several options. I can give the person access to edit the file. I can give the person edit access not to edit the file, but to make comments. So like little post-it notes, uh, like sti little sticky editor notes on the file, um, questioning it or commenting on it. Or I can just tell them, uh, give them access to view it. Now on top of this, I have this option here, the little lot icon, to get a shareable link. Now this shareable link um, can be to anybody. Uh, they can view it. And again, they can either view it, edit it, or comment on it. Or I can turn it off. So in effect, only the person I send this invitation to can view, edit, or comment on this file, whichever permission level I give them. If we use the link version, that link could be forwarded to another person, could be forwarded to another person, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So we're going to turn it off for now. I'm going to notify this person that I have shared this file with them. We can got these uh, options at the bottom called advanced. If we click on this, <clears throat> we've got these two other options here, which are quite important, especially if the file contains sensitive information. We can prevent the editors from changing the access and adding new people. We can disable download, print, and copy. So this file will only stay on the Google Drive. They'll only be able to access it via Google Drive or Google Documents. That only have the access rights that we've given them, either edit, view, or comment, and they won't be able to print or download this file. So there won't be any other copies apart from the one that we share with them. Once we hit save these changes, and then I hit send, this is going to send this link to myself and with the permissions that we've set. Now, as the file owner, as Smiley Geeks, I can see that I am the owner and that only one other person has access to this file. I can also see the file level or the file permission level that I have given them. And I can change that as and when I need to or as I want to. Now, if I really wanted to as well, and I saw additional people have been added to this, unbeknownst to me because I've forgotten to click on the options, I can actually just click on the X here, remove the owner or remove the additional people, hit save changes. Now, even if I have the link, at the top here to the file, I won't be able to access the file. The file state is revoked. What I can do is if I copy this file, and if I open it using myself rather than Smiley Geeks, the owner, should... It's going to ask me to log in to prove who I am. So it's not going to give me access to the file. It's actually going to say, who are you? Do you have access to this file? And that's how we can share a file securely using Google Drive.